my name is Elise and I'm a children's librarian at the Acton Memorial Library in Massachusetts. I also work at the Needham and Wayland Libraries. I'm here today to do a family activity craft that's connected to the summer reading program, Imagine Your Story. And as you can see, I'm here today to make crowns. And I have three different kinds of crowns that I want to show you, and then I'll get into the details of each style or materials. So the first crown is this one. It's really very simple and easy. It's a piece of cardboard that was trimmed and painted, and then a ribbon was attached, holes were punched, and you have a crown that fits right on your forehead. Now the next crown I did was made out of a shopping bag, a grocery bag, and it was painted and then little stick-on um, jewels and pom-poms were added. And the third crown was made out of doilies or paper plates and they were painted in different materials and different things were put on them. They were attached to cardboard so you can put them on your head. So you can see the three different styles are similar, but each one gives you a different opportunity. I'm going to go back to the first one, which was this one, and I'll show you three different ones I made. Here is one and a third one. These are very, very easy. These are made of cardboard, you could also use a cereal box, and but even if you use a stiffer cardboard, it bends so it can adjust to your child's head. I had a piece of cardboard that was about three inches, and I trimmed it to the right size. And once I knew what size I wanted, and you could make yours wider, I sketched in the triangle shape, as you can see, and just trimmed it with the scissors. And so, a very easy method. I use different materials to paint, and I'll be going into that later. But as you can see, they have a little bit of a shimmer because after I was painting, I coated my mat, my crowns, with a glitter gloss. But you can do whatever kind of paint and finishing that you'd like. But these are very simple. The next crown was done with the grocery bag. And you start out with a regular grocery bag. And you trim one edge and you cut off the bottom of the bag. And you are left, this has been trimmed a bit, with a piece of grocery bag paper that's like this and I've trimmed this one already but I added with the scissors I just cut triangles and there's the crown and once you have this you can fit it to your child or you can let them paint it make sure you leave enough space for you to adjust it to their head you can staple it or tape it. And then once it's the right size, they can begin to paint. And it's very fun. And when the paint is dry, then you can begin to add materials. As you can see, I used pom-poms. I thought they were fun. They just take a little bit of time to glue on and they'll drop off if they haven't uh, rested or, or the glue hasn't dried. I also used very, very easy stick-on jewels and those were fun to add. You can also buy other things in the sewing section or you can buy plastic jewels or rhinestones. And so there's lots of ways. You can use glitter glue, you could add ribbons, I wanted to paint my um, crown in pastel colors, so I took my regular tempera washable poster paints, but I mixed pastel colors. I made a purple or a lilac, just put white paint and added purple, 
I did the same and made mint green. I made a powder blue, just using royal blue and white paint. I also made pink using white paint with red. I just wanted to sort of expand the colors for this. So, and I also coated it with the glitter gloss so it sort of shines and looks a little jeweled. So very easy again. Now the next craft's a little bit more involved, but not really. And I used different things. I used paper plates, and I also used doilies. And I had two different sizes. And I would fold them and paint them. And I wanted to experiment. So I painted a lot of different ones because I wasn't sure how I'd use them. And when I was done painting, I had to cut a piece of cardboard. This is from a cereal box and it goes around the head. And then you can punch holes again and add a ribbon or a string. Now one way to glue on, and I only had to paint one side, one way to glue on the doily is to paint it like this, open it up, insert your board, and then glue. But you don't have to. You can also just do it like this. And you can even cut your doilies and do different things with them. There's lots of options on this one. And, but it's again, very easy. With the paper plates, I cut my paper plate in half and I did different things. Here, I just did a scalloped edge and I added stick-on jewels and painted it. And there's doilies on the side. Here, I again had the scalloped edge, but I painted it in these rich, intense colors that remind me of a mermaid. And again, added doilies on the side. I also made crowns like this that remind me a little bit of the Statue of Liberty. And this one I painted in different colors. And in this one, I just did metallics of copper and gold and silver. These are the metallic paints that I sometimes use. They're washable, they're poster paints, they're not expensive, and um, they're just fun to use. And here's some of the other colors that you can sometimes find them. You can also buy small bottles if you don't think you'll use it a lot. Um, so these are just easy. You take your plate, you cut out a shape, you paint it, you paint this, you glue it on, and you add ribbon, or I even use this kind of ribbon that's used for wrapping presents. So you don't even need fancy ribbons. So again, these were so much fun. What's great about this is you can just put it on like this. It also will fit someone else. So it's not custom made for your child and it will lend itself to all kinds of play, which is really what, apart from the pleasure in doing these and exploring the arts, there's also pleasure in playing with these. And so, but before I talk about that, I just want to go over some of the paints. You have many options. One is that you can always just use regular poster paints, but if you want some jewel-like shimmer, you can buy this glitter glaze and just layer. It's clear, but it adds glittery sheen to your artwork. You could also use glitter glue. I prefer not to use glitter anymore for many reasons, so I use this instead. The other option was the metallic paints. And I also bought glitter paint. And let me show you one that was done with the glitter paint. It comes in very nice colors. They look really beautiful in this rainbow style that did remind me of a mermaid. Now, 
I don't know if you're going to be a good queen, a bad queen, a mean king, or a mean princess, or a good princess, but when you imagine your story, you get to make up all the rules. You might say, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the kindest? Who's the nicest? Who's the sweetest? Who's the smartest of them all? Okay, have a great time. And thank you. Bye.